Alright, now we have the butterfly chart or we call it sometimes the tornado charts. It is a great chart in order to analyze two different measures by specific dimension. So for example, if you want to compare the number of customers with the number of orders by the category, then the butterfly chart is your chart. So what do we need first? The dimension It's going to be as usual, the subcategory. Let's move it to the rows. And then as usual, I'm going to move it as entire view. Then we need our two measures. The first one is going to be the customer count let's move it to the columns then the second one gonna be the order count all right so with us we have our two measures and the subcategory now in order to form the shape of the butterfly we have to have the dimension exactly in the middle and then on the right side we have one measure and on the left side we can have another measure so in order to do that we're going to use the placeholder the average of zero so let's have it over here and let's go and place it exactly in the middle so now with that we have the measure on the left measure on the right and something empty in the middle and then let's go and configure this chart. It's going to be the middle one, the average of zero. And let's go and switch it to a text. And now the next thing we have to go and get the dimension to the text over here. And with that, you can see we got now the spine of the butterfly. So let's go and make it a little bit more bold. So I'm going to go over here and just make it bold. But now we have to have the two wings, right? On the right and on the left. You can see the right side is okay. So we have it as a wing. Let's go and sort the data, by the way. But the left wing is not correct yet. So in order to do that, let's go to the count of customers over here on the axis. Let's edit the axe and let's go and reverse the scale. So with that, we get exactly the opposite in the scale. Let's go and close it. And as you can see now, we got it perfect. On the left side, the wing of the customers and on the right side, we have the orders. So now the next step is what we usually do is to add some coloring. For example, let's stay at the customers over here and drag holding control the count of customers to the colors. And as well, we can go to the orders over here and drag and drop the orders by holding control to the colors. But, but of course, we can go and customize the right side with using different coloring. So let's go to the colors over here and change the pattern maybe to orange. Let's hit OK. And as well, we can go and make the text in the middle a little bit more bigger. So let's go to the middle and then let's make it maybe something like 15 and now we can see those subcategories in the middle very clearly but since we have it in the middle we don't need it on the left side right so let's go and hide it right click on it and then let's go and disable show header and as well we can go to the axis over here and as well disable the headers and of course we can add more formatting in order to remove those grids so right click over here on the empty space to the format and then we can go to the columns tab and as well remove the grid line and with that we got a clean chart to represent a butterfly or a tornado depend on how you see it where you can go and compare two different measures by specific dimension All right, so now in the method two, we're gonna bring those two wings together. In order to do that, we're gonna get exactly the same information. So let's go and get the subcategories to the rows. And then as usual, switch it to entire view. Let's go and get our measures. So the first one gonna be the count of customers. And then the second one gonna be the count of orders. But we have to put it now on top of each other's. And since we are using the same type of charts, we're gonna use the measure names and measure values. So take the order counts and drag and drop it on top of the axis over here in order to generate the measure names and values. All right, so we have those informations. Now we're gonna go and take the measure names. We don't need it on the roads so drag and drop it to the colors over here and just to make sure that everything stay as bars i'm gonna go from here and switch it from automatic to bar and now the next step we're gonna go and sort the data so click on the axis over here and then sort the data descending both of the values or the wings are on the right side so now in order to have the effect of left and right we don't have here two axes what we're gonna do we're gonna do a very small trick in order to do that let's go to the customers over here double click on it and just go to the front before the counts and put a minus so let's go and hit enter so with us we get again the effect of the butterfly where we have the left and the right wings together but of course what is missing here is the spine the dimension the subcategory so in order to do that we're going to do the same so we're going to go and have the average of zero as a placeholder we have it now in the right side so let's go switch to it and then we can switch it to a text since we want to have a text of the subcategory and then the next step we're going to go and get the text so it's going to come from the subcategory drag and drop it on top of the text 
and with that we got the values or the spine of the butterfly so the next step is that we're gonna go and merge them together in one chart so what we're gonna do we're gonna go and use the dual axis right click on the average and then here we use the dual axis but as you can see those values are not yet in the middle and that's because we haven't synchronized the axis so go to the average over here and then let's select synchronize axis and with that we got the spine exactly in the middle but it's not really clear because it's red so let's go and change those colors so let's go to the average over here double click on it and let's select complete white so that's it click ok and now the next step as usual we're gonna go and start hiding stuff because all those informations are not necessary so the average over here let's go and hide it and as well we don't need the header informations because we have it already in the middle so right click over here and disable show header and with that we get a very elegant and nice butterfly charts in tableau where both of the wings together and now we can go and analyze the color between the number of orders and the number of customers by the category all right so this is how we can create butterfly or tornado charts in tableau using two methods 